Hi there, today we're going to be unboxing the DJI OM4 Gimbal. If you're having trouble keeping your cell phone video stable, this item will help you. This is one of DJI's newest models just out with the new magnetic attachment. This video won't be very techy, this video is just meant for the beginners, showing you the basics on how to run this item. So let's begin. So as long as you have a smartphone, this item should work for you. Make sure to find out you have the right phone that will work with this item. You will have to download the DJI Mimo app on your cell. You can download it on Google Play or the Apple Store. On the side of the box, it shows all of the items that will be inside this box. It's always exciting to take the first look. This item has been well packaged as there's a thin piece of foam connected to the board to secure it into the box so it doesn't move. Now here we have the gimbal. This is the DJI OM4 with the magnet attachment. With the last model, it's kind of similar, but there was no magnet attachment. It was just a clamp to clamp your phone on. It looks like they tried to keep it minimal for the buttons on this device. So just taking a quick look at it all around before charging. And then we'll explain on how every button works. So this next item is the magnetic riser pad. This is great for if you have a smaller phone and it's a little too loose fitting onto the magnetic clamp. Here is the magnetic clamp that clamps right onto your phone. If you have a certain phone that is too small to fit onto this clamp, this is where the extra piece will come in handy. The two holding brackets on each side stretch out so you can get your phone inside to magnetize it to the gimbal. Next here we have the grip tripod. They include this tripod because you won't be able to stand up your gimbal on its own as the bottom of the gimbal is not flat. And if you have your gimbal stable and it's moving around to take your shots, you don't want it to fall over. This also gives you something else to hold onto to give you some extra arm length to hold the gimbal away from your face. Of course, they included the power cable. This helps to charge the device and also charge your cell phone while connected to the gimbal, while using your gimbal and your phone has a low battery. So now let's take a look at the other little box. Now in this little package contains the storage pouch the wrist strap, and the manuals, along with another magnetic ring holder. This wrist strap will be great for when you're walking around, you can secure the gimbal to your wrist, just in case it accidentally slips out of your hand. Next, they provided the storage pouch. This is great to keep your cord in, or even your grip tripod. And when you're not using the gimbal, it's just a great place to store. Now here's what they call an alignment guide. So depending on the size of your phone, it shows different sizes of phones. So if you need to attach the magnetic ring holder, it will perfectly center it on your phone. As for when it magnetically attaches to the gimbal, you need your phone to be somewhat centered. Thank you. 
Now this is great if you never want to use the clamp part. You can stick this to your phone and it'll always be on your phone. They also provide some 3M stickers. Now even though you're watching this video, make sure to read the full manual before using your own gimbal. This manual does come in many different languages. This little manual tells you exactly how to put your ring on the back of your phone. This manual does look very thick, but it's just because it comes in a lot of different languages but really it's only like three pages long. So here is an overview of everything that came in the box. So if you're wanting to attach the tripod to the gimbal, just screw it into the bottom and it's able to stand by itself. Now here's the magnetic clamp. It's got a very strong magnetic magnet on it. So it has a good powerful hold to hold your cell phone. You can hear how strong the magnet is. You do want to make sure that you line up the little key notch on it so it attaches properly. Now I'm going to be attaching the wristband. There's one hole on the back of the gimbal. Slide your string through and loop the bracelet through. Now it's time to power up your gimbal. There are three light areas that light up, showing you how much power your gimbal has. Once the three bars are fully charged, I do believe the final light turns green. Once your device is all powered up, it's time to attach your phone. So here I have the magnet clamp along with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. You want to try to make sure to have your magnet part in the center of your phone. Now if you do have a case on it, and it's one of these more softer rubbery cases, I recommend to take it off because these soft rubber cases they flex too easily and having the clamp grip doesn't work that well on them as you don't want your phone to fall off the clamp. Now if you notice there is a camera symbol on one of the sides of the clamps with an arrow pointing upwards shown right here. This indicates that you want your camera on that side of the bracket.
Remember to notch the magnet properly to the gimbal. Now it's time to turn on the gimbal and set it up. So just by holding down the M button, it will turn on. You will see that the three lights are solid. This means your gimbal is fully charged. Right now, I only have two lights lighting up. The first light is green. For some reason, it's not showing in this video. So once you've downloaded the Mimo app, it's time to install it. Going through all the information, hookup and installation as it guides you through. At some point, you're going to have to calibrate it. Not shown in this video, as I forgot to record it. It will show you step by step on where all the buttons are and how to use your device. But I'll give you a quick run over to show you how it works. So first off, when you're inside the app, Touch the camera button on top, on the left side. This will connect your gimbal to your phone, but remember to turn on the Bluetooth first, and then connect. Hi there, and welcome to my craft room. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know I do some crafts. So by clicking the M button once, it will change from photo to video, or from video to photo. Clicking the M twice will change your phone's direction from portrait to landscape. Now here we'll be using the front button. By clicking the front button once, you'll get a green box. This will follow an item or a face. You can see that the phone is following the cell phone case, as I'm not moving my right hand. If you click it once again, it stops following, as you can see the white box on the screen. If you click it once again, the green box will come back and start following again. By clicking it three times, you can reverse it to facing you. Click it three more times and it'll face back forward. Now here is your camera and video button. If you click it once, it'll take a photo. As we're on the photo area. If you click the M once, it'll bring it to video. And then click the record button to start recording video. Click it again to turn it off. Now it's stopped recording. Now on the gimbal, they provided a joystick. So you can change the angles just by using your thumb. Now if you want to bring it back to center, using the front button, click it twice. It'll bring you back to center. Now on the left side here, there's another button. This is your zoom in and zoom out. That's pretty much how you use most of the buttons on this gimbal. 
Now getting more into it, if you want to take a selfie or stand back and take a photo or a video, you can do that by using hand gestures, either using two fingers or a flat hand. You'll notice there's a hand on the screen and it says off. Click it to turn it on. You can change settings from following shoot or shoot only. Change your camera position so it's facing you. And then either do the peace sign or a flat hand. It'll start counting down and then take a picture. See, it worked. And now that we have that figured out, let's move on. You can also change it to video, make it in portrait style and face it towards you. And then video yourself by making the peace sign or a flat hand. See, there you go. It's quite handy. And when you're ready to stop, just wave. Ooh. Let's do this again. See, it stopped. Pretty handy device. Now by clicking the front button three times, you can reverse the camera. You can see I'm going to off-center it and then click it twice. It'll center itself back. When you're done with the hand gestures, just turn it off. Now there's lots of other things you can do with taking pictures or videos. You can learn a lot more about it just by playing with it. On the left side, you have your home button, your screen button, your glamour button, and your settings. So when you're ready to turn it off, just hit your home button. And then hold in the M. This will shut off your gimbal. There you go, that's the basics on using the gimbal. Time to remove your cell phone and fold up the gimbal for storage. So in storing the thing, on the top it has two little dots. You want to make sure they match up, also on the side. This way your gimbal will fold down nicely, making it more compact. Unscrew the tripod and then you can store it away in the sack it came with. If you take the clamp off your phone, just reattach it with the magnet together before storing it away. If this video helped you out at all, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and click the notification bell to be notified each and every time a new video is posted. All in all, I think this new DJI OM4 gimbal is quite amazing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. If you'd like to see some stabilization shots, head on over to the Unger Achievers. I'll leave a link in this video.